Hi children. How are you? Today we will discuss the remaining grammar part of the lesson. Well power. Now children all of you open the page number 123. See the writing children. Now one day Lalita participated in a seminar. Who was Lalita children? Which in which lesson we have heard about Lalita? Do you recognize children? This picture, Lalita's picture. In which lesson you heard about her? In a big surprise. Yes or no? A big surprise lesson only. We heard about Lalita. She also planted some plants and got a prize. Yes or no? She planted some which plant she planted tomato plants yes or no children she planted tomato plants she also won prize yes or no she that lalita what she is doing she also participating in seminar now she means she giving some speech okay see look at her speech at the seminar on the lives of great people the lives of great people who it is here now how she started respected hm sir teachers and fellow students how she started respected hm sir teachers and fellow students i am very happy to take part in this seminar how she is feeling she is feeling very happy to take part in the seminar I would like to talk about the life of Stephen Hawking. Now about whom she is discussing children? She is discussing about the life of Stephen Hawking in the seminar. Now see. Do you know who Stephen William Hawking is? Yes, all of you know now because you heard the lesson of him, story of him. Uh, in the lesson, yes or no? Willpower. In the lesson, willpower. So everybody know who is the Stephen Hawking? He is the great scientist of the world. Yes or no? He is one of the greatest scientist of the world. He is one of the greatest scientist of the world. He has received twelve honorary degrees. How many he received? Children, twelve. Twelve he received. 12 honorary degrees and has been awarded many medals and prizes. He has been awarded many medals and prizes also. He has written many books. See, this Lalita is talking, discussing about Stephen Hawking's life only. See how he has received the respected degrees, awards for any medals and prizes in his life. He also written many books in his life. Now of course his achievements may be seen to be usual to everyone. See of course this is usual to everyone. What I want to tell you is that what, what she want to tell you is that she has achieved all this in spite of his prolonged illness. See how he achieved the Stephen Hawking's all these awards and medals children though he has illness though he have illness also he achieved all these medals and prizes how he achieved because he has more will power in him that's why he achieved all these awards and medals he doesn't care about his illness that only lalta is discussing in her speech now you know he has been suffering from an incurable disease. See, who was suffering from incurable disease children? Stephen Hawking was suffering from in incurable disease. What is the name of the disease children? Sclerosis. Yes, it is the sclerosis which has weakened his muscles since he was 17 years old. At the age of 17 only he got this disease. Yes or no children? That only Lalta is discussing. Now, though his doctors have told him that he would die soon, he hasn't stopped his research work. See, doctors already said, told 
Stephen Hawking that he would die very soon but he did not stop his researches now he has made remarkable contribution to the field of science even though he cannot move or speak a word so at the last he went an operation through window five yes or no he lost his ability to speak also though also he did not stop his researches now undoubtedly i feel that his life is a source of inspiration to everyone so his life is an inspiration to every one of us now he was able to do all this only because of his strong will power so how he is doing this all things because he have strong will power means that he is thinking i can do anything like his he was thinking like that that's why he achieved all his goals so everybody should have will power in you hence i believe through will power one can achieve wonders in one's life what is telling if everybody have this will power uh, everybody can success in their lives and reach their goals thank you one and all for giving me this opportunity what is telling lalita at last she is ending thank you one and all for giving me this opportunity now see answer the following questions now how did lalita start her speech how did she start children lalita when she started telling her speech how did she start first now she started expected hm sir teachers and fellow students like this she started her speech yes no children now which are the points she stressed and how are they organized see which points she was stressing she was stressing about the points that everyone should take the stephen hawking life has inspiration and everyone should have will power to achieve their goals and become success in life how again she is discussing how that stephen hawking won many degrees and medals like she is stressing on this points now see the third one children how did she conclude her speech at the end how she ended this speech children saying thank you one and all for giving me this opportunity like this she ended the speech she concluded the speech now turn the page children so till now you listened how she started how she ended the speech yes or no in seminar like that only you should also do here now work in groups she select a great personality means select a great personality who were inspiring you that personality you select children collect information about him or her from various sources you collect him you are selecting one image one picture of a person great person about him you collect more information okay now prepare a speech focusing on his or her greatness and how he she influenced others you also prepare a speech like lalita lalita prepared a speech on stephen hawking no like the tolly you also prepared a speech on great person plan a speech on the events of his or her life how to begin how to organize the events in sequential order and how to conclude see whenever you are giving the speech first you should have how to begin and how to organize the order events in sequential order and how to conclude these three points you should follow children whenever you are giving the speech in any events now discuss with your friends and make necessary corrections in your speech see before only before only you should make necessary corrections in your speech if needed now write your speech on a chart you write your speech on write on a chart present your version before the class see present your version before the class you 
you prepared the speech no that one you should pre present before your class so whenever independence day or republic day is there no in that uh, event you are participating that time you should follow this all these points and give the speech properly children now see next one conventions of writing now use capital letters full stop comma spelling mistakes and inverted commas wherever necessary and rewrite the following sentence see use full stop comma spelling mistakes also you should see and inverted commas also you should use wherever necessary and rewrite the following sentence given here children now nitin jagan and manisha went to the pet store nitin bought bought a big bag food for his dog jagan looked at the turtles and said i wish i could take one home while reading you can observe the spelling mistakes also children now we will write here nitin nitin after what you are putting comma jagan we are separating the names that's why we are putting comma and manisha 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 went to the pet store where they went went to the pet store went to the pet store pet stop is already given so keep it as as it is now nitin bot what is the bot spelling children b o u g h t b o t is given it is a wrong spelling you correct here children nitin bot a big bag bag food so you separate you put comma bag food for his dog okay then jagan looked jagan looked at the turtles turtles and said 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 spelling is also given wrong you make it correct children i wish you will start here inverted commas i wish i could do i could take one home so keep the exclamation mark and close the inverted comma children like this you rewrite the sentence next see children enrich your english enrich your english now tongue twisters what are they tongue twisters now say this sentence is as fast as you can some tongue twisters are given here you should say them very fast as much as you can okay children now see the first one sun shines on shop signs repeat it very fast children how much fastly you can that much uh, fast you repeat it children sun shines on shop signs sun sign shines on shop signs next you have a proper copper coffee pot a proper copper coffee pot a proper copper coffee pot next you have tidy tiger tidy tighter tie to tidy her tiny tail tidy tiger tidy tighter tie to tidy her tiny tail tidy tiger tidy tighter tie to tidy her tiny tail peter piper picked a pick of pickled peppers peter piper picked a pick of pickled peppers peter piper picked a pick of pickled pickled peppers like this you repeat it very fast children six six snakes sit by the sea six six snakes sit by the sea six six snakes sit by the sea 
Sheena leads, Shaila needs. Sheena leads, Shaila needs. Sheena leads, Shaila needs. Like this, you also repeat children once as fast as you can children. Now see the next page children. Be reading you have sing the following song. What do you have? Sing the following song. You That means you should sing this song. What it is? So what is the song here? We shall overcome. That means we should overcome all our difficulties or any problems which we are facing. That is the poem telling. We shall overcome, we shall overcome, we shall overcome someday. Oh, deep in my heart I do believe that we shall overcome someday. See what it is telling? Oh, in my, deep in my heart I am believing that we shall overcome all our difficulties someday. It is explaining. Now, we will walk hand in hand. We will walk hand in hand. We will walk hand in hand someday. Oh, deep in my heart, I do believe. What is telling? We will walk hand in hand, hand in hand someday. They can also, that also. What is telling? In my heart, I believe that we shall overcome someday we are not afraid we are not afraid we are not afraid today oh deep in my heart i do believe that we shall overcome someday means that we should not fear we should not afraid of our difficulties or problems believe in your heart that you should overcome your all difficulties one day. Now, we shall overcome, we shall overcome, we shall overcome someday. Oh, deep in my heart I do believe that we shall overcome someday. Means, what is the poem telling always? That we should overcome all our difficulties. One or the other day. This is the poem. Let's sing once again children. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. We shall overcome. We shall overcome someday. Oh, deep in my heart I do believe. That we shall overcome someday. We will walk hand in hand. We will walk hand in hand. We will walk hand in hand someday. Oh, deep in my heart I do believe. That we shall overcome someday. We are not afraid. We are not afraid. We are not afraid today. Oh, deep in my heart, I do believe that we shall overcome someday. We shall overcome, we shall overcome, we shall overcome someday. Oh, deep in my heart, I do believe that we shall overcome someday. Who has written this poem, children? Martin Luther King. So, so with this, we have completed the lesson, Will Power. Bye, children, all of you.